Hey, what's going on guys? How are we all doing today? Sorry, just take care and some responsibilities there. How are you guys doing today? Hopefully good, it's TGIF Friday. It is sweltering here in the nice city of LA in Orange County. Good Lord, that's why I have to get this, hold on. I'm so Hollywood, I had to get myself a little Crocs. I was like, mm, I need to be, Adam, is that Swiss cheese of mine ready yet? Of course. Very good, bring it to me later. I'll see you in the foyer. Anyway, what's going on guys? It's good to see everyone here. Guys, we're just hanging out today and we're talking about the HTC Vive and its future. Now, when we talk about that, a lot of people tend to say, well, why would you talk about the HTC future? You're not the projectionist. You don't know anything about it. Granted, I don't, but I am a consumer just like anybody else. And we do like to sit down and have discussions about this kind of stuff. This is the time for anybody on Facebook Live, uh, which I'm going to go look right now. Sorry, guys. Facebook Live, I'm going to be switching between you and I'm going to be switching to Cyber. So please forgive me. So let's go to Cyber Gear. And we look at this up. Yeah, usually we don't have a chat mounted in front of us, so it's very different for us in that part. Uh, Facebook Live, uh, which I'm going to go look right now. Sorry, guys. Facebook Live. I'm oh, there we go. So now I can see all your guys' chat. Hello, people from Twitch. And let's go to Facebook Live and see everybody on Facebook Live. It's so weird because it doesn't, re like, update in real time. So if I don't catch your comments immediately, guys, I'm very, very sorry. I do apologize about that. But I will promise you this. If you guys write something, I will read it. Not if you put like butts or something else, like no, of course. I mean, I'll say butts anyway, but just saying. You know, the safety of things. And now I'm going to check Facebook Live as it loads into it. There we go. Butts or something else, like no, of course. I mean, I'll say butts anyway, but just saying. You know, the safety of things. I'm just hearing myself talk. All right, cool. Anyway, guys, how's it going today? I'm glad that everyone is here. Anyway, so let's first start off. The HTC Vive, something that a lot of people weren't very aware of up to about four, five, six years ago, maybe about four or five. The HTC Vive is still pretty brand new, coming at the part of where Oculus had started and get, tempted us into the VR world. HTC Vive ever since then has been dominating it so much with a lot of the stuff they've been selling and all the products and all of the way they've been supporting the VR community. It's hard to ignore what VR is currently and what we have with HTC Vive's headset. Originally, the first headset given out was pretty heavy, pretty crazy. I mean, like it's, it's something that like, you know, it was, it was good because it did a lot of great other stuff, but the problem was is that the like just heaviness of it made it difficult. Now, not to mention the fact that the Oculus had the same issues that the HTC Vive did, but the Vive itself has been nothing more than satisfactory. Bringing out new games, helping people out, why people still try to scurry around to find themselves an Oculus. Now you actually have more HTC Vibes around everywhere than you have an Oculus. I mean, really, you might as well just say Oculus get out, you know, HTC Vibes here and they're basically VR. But nonetheless, they've been working tirelessly to make sure on a very huge effort to support the VR community. Now, a lot of us have our ifs and skips and buts about what VR will be in the future, and that's very difficult for a lot of people because they usually say, uh, but where will they go in the movies? Or, oh my God, you can't play video games on that. I get sick and yada, 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 yada. But with time, a lot of this has improved. Now, one of the biggest daunting tasks is movies themselves because movies rely on directorial, you know, leadership. I mean, if I say, look that way, you're going to look to your left and see nothing. It doesn't look right, right? I mean, you could look left, but it doesn't mean much to you. But if you're watching the world through my eyes and how the things go, if I say, look forward through my camera, you will look forward. In VR, the direction is very difficult in that kind of sense. And it's a daunting task that both sides will meet in this kind of concept. But besides that part of it, VR has brought games alive to all of us out there who are huge gamers. The HTC headset has gone through two renditions, it seems like, of their own headsets, and where the future of it can be very much varies for everybody out there. Now, granted, they'll still keep doing games, and I can't tell you exactly where their future may lie, but they have made nothing more than a tireless effort to make sure that the VR community is alive and thriving. Big supporters of a lot of different projects, from big to small, uh, one of my friends being one of them. So, no, I'm not kissing butt. They already funded them a long time ago, and they were very helpful to them, so calm them down. But also on top of that, there's also been other kind of things that they've been doing, like small, interesting projects that you've never seen before. Like musicians who use it to actually play, you know, instruments. Uh, art forms from our friend Android Jones and the rest of the people from Burning Man who decide to use it for more of artistic endeavors. There's a lot of things that you can be doing with VR, and HTC has been big backers of that part of it. You don't really see that too often with Oculus, but again, they're just, you know, constantly teetering away. And plus, when you work for Facebook, it's really hard to say anything because, I mean, it's a billion-dollar corporation and yada, yada, yada. So, let's make continue on. What is up, Cyber? What is up, Brian Ward? Love the one to have work is awesome, but yeah, heavy. 
Yeah, it, it will be at times, Benjamin. But luckily, guys, Adam, can you bring me the headset, please? It's connected, but it can make it all the way over here, Adam. No, oh, no, away from the camera, Adam. Right, there we go. Thank you, Adam. Appreciate it. Now, as you guys can see, this is a second rendition of their headset itself. It's a lot lighter. I, when I unboxed it yesterday, it was really good. It still carries the same features as before and what you saw for it, and it looks great. I mean, it is a lot lighter. I'm not going to, like, if you feel the difference between the old one and the new one, super heavy. Now, this is also to allow people to play in VR for hours. This is not just to limit it, but to actually fully play it head on, and you can actually keep going for hours. Now, for a lot of you who are HTC Vive people, you may say, well, what is this on the back of it? This is an expansion that comes with it that allows you guys to actually use your own headphones from HTC, and it kind of gives them more uh, feel to it, almost like a Ready Player One, which is also adjustable, too, because you're going to adjust the straps on the side to move the headset back and forth so you can have no issues. I actually like it myself. Uh, Benjamin said, 3D laser tag, wait, that's already here. Yes, 3D laser tag. See, I think the laser tag idea is pretty cool. Like, have you guys seen the new laser tag that they have with their phones? It's like they basically use your uh, phone as a laser tag, and then they use the lasers to shoot each other. I think it's kind of cool because I would like to play laser tag in the office one day, and hopefully, God, hopefully, they, they allow it to happen. Adam, are we going to play laser tag one day in the office? Next week. Next week? All right. I really hope we do. I just, it's, it's disappointing if we don't. I mean, I really want to see it happen. But nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, the fact that we get to do that kind of stuff is actually amazing. I mean, the fact that your phone can act as that. I mean, eventually, I wonder if HTC could actually get their programs to be small enough to where all oh, what you really need is this. Because being attached to a computer is fun up to an extent, but being mobile is even better. Now, that's another thing that HTC Vive has been great about is making the forward initiative to make a new headset. Now, we did hear recently in the months that they did actually get their own headsets themselves. I mean, well, I mean, they do already have their own headsets, but their own wireless headsets they can use. That's one step ahead of the, was it, of the Oculus. We don't see anything right now with the Oculus. I mean, they do already have their own headsets, headsets but their is, own wireless headsets. Please correct headset. me. I mean, I have not seen any news on it, and trust me, I follow the news very, very, very close. It's, it's ridiculously how close I follow that news. All right, where are we going here? Right. I was trying to find out. Uh, if anybody in Cyber Gear is uh, talking in our chat, I need to, I always need to make, go back there and make sure. Because if they're chatting to me, I seem stupid. I, like, I'm, I'm sorry, and I'm trying to talk to both sides as we do this kind of stuff, guys. It's, it's really difficult on this part because it's like I, have to, I, I need to have a screen up here so I can see what you guys are saying. So I do apologize if I don't answer fast enough, but I will try my best to actually make sure that we actually, you know, do something about that, okay? All right? What? Chase? What? Oh, is that, is that up now? Oh, okay, good. Uh, but nonetheless, guys, before we continue any more into it, I just want to say thank you to our big sponsor, Jinx. They are a huge people that have been supportive of our show. Guys, if you've never checked out Jinx Clothing, please do. Go to the website, jinxclothing.com. Guys, their clothing is amazing. I love wearing it. It, it, it feels nice. It doesn't feel like a a shoddy nerdy like hey don't touch my joystick or other things like that it's actually got its own nice designs it's very like breathy like the clothes like the quality of the shirts are nice and breathy i hate those old cot ones that are so starchy and hard it's like jesus man like i'm wearing a shirt not a freaking straight jacket but nonetheless besides comfortability and great designs they also have great prices so if you guys haven't gotten any good video gaming uh clothing go check out jinx it's really good especially the new bomber jacket that came out in hot topic I want it. Jinx, I want that bomber jacket. I want to look like the guy from Drive, but I'm going to call it Played. I'll be playing video games with my back to you guys and look all badass and have like one controller and be like, I'm gaming for you. See how that works? It looks really cool when I point at you when I do that kind of stuff. Anyway, guys, go check out Jinx.com. Amazing website. If you look at HTC Vive, you guys can see it in a general thing, is that the new headsets themselves are way far of Oculus. Now, Oculus has made their attempts to fight back against HTC Vive, which is fine. I mean, it's a company versus company, but HTC Vive themselves have been doing so well, it doesn't even need a price break or cut because, I mean, let's face facts here, the poof's in the pudding. And if your product's selling well enough, you know, you're not too worried about a guy who tries to undercut you. It's basically like Intel versus AMD. Yeah, look at those facsimiles. Here's Intel, here's AMD. Now, granted, they both have their own functions of what they do, but, you know, everybody has their own appeal to what they want. So, I mean, it, it makes a lot more sense that way. Now, 
How many of you people have actually used any kind of headsets, HTC or Oculus or any kind of VR? Want. So what I mean, are your guys it makes a lot more sense that way. Do you guys feel now, VR? How many of you right people have actually used any be, kind of headsets? Feel that HTC it's going in the wrong direction of where it should be. Do you guys feel that HTC or Oculus are going in the wrong direction of where it should be? Do you guys feel that HTC or Oculus are going in the wrong direction of where it should be? Do you guys feel that HTC or Oculus are going in the wrong direction of where it should be? Do you guys feel that HTC or Oculus are going in the wrong direction of where it should be? Do you guys feel that HTC or Oculus are going in the wrong direction of where it should be? Do you guys feel that HTC or Oculus are going in the wrong direction of where it should be? Do you guys feel that HTC or Oculus are going in the wrong direction of where it should be? Do you guys feel that HTC or Oculus are going in the wrong direction of where it should be? Alrighty, there we go. Sorry about that, guys. The sound was looping. Adam was watching us on Facebook Live and didn't realize the sound was looping behind it. Thank you, Lord Dark Helmet. What up, Wild Noop? How are you doing today? I like it super echoey. I want you all to no, 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 no. How awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> so when we look at HTC Vive as a whole, there we go. Thank you, Wild Noop. So as you look at HTC Vive as a whole new, what do you guys think about it? What do you guys, has anybody actually tried playing it? You know, like, I, I like to hear your guys' feedback. Uh, let's go back over here and let's go check the other part of it. Let's see what everybody on, 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 the, on the other side. And also, guys, from Facebook Live, if I don't see your comments, I'm trying really hard to read them all. Uh, let's see here. From Facebook Live, we have, I like my Vive a lot. I used Vive, Oculus, and PSRV, or PSVR. And what do you think about PSVR? Uh, Dude, your audio is looping, adding. Ah, uh, it's looping. Audio issues. Uh, and here we go, some more Vive stuff. I love the one. We're going to go ahead and hear it. So, Johnny Crude, I really like to compare it to Oculus. I'd really like to compare it to Oculus. Sure, bro, all the way from NZ. Nice. Thank you, Anthony Edwards. Thank you for being here. That's why I know was it. I hear when, when my wife talks. <laughs> That's what I hear when my wife talks. Uh, J Jesus, I will have to talk to you about that, Johnny Cured. Anyway, guys, so you like your HTC Vive, but why do you like it? What are the perks to it to yourself as the consumer? Now, the rest also goes out to everybody else, is what do you like about the Vive if you've tried it, and what interests you about the Vive? To me, so the future of the Vive, I think, is going to be thriving. The reason why I say this, and this is not a pitch, and I'll tell you guys why I think certain parts of the Vive are going to be doing well, um... So the Vive, I don't think, as much as everyone was going like, oh my god, Oculus announced that you can buy two Vives, or two Oculuses for one Vive. But what do you really get in an Oculus that you wouldn't get in a Vive, and why would you get two of them as compared to one? Now granted, it may be cheaper, and it may be probably running lower on any kind of, uh, what is it, uh, wear in it. I don't know the specs exactly, but I do know they do come pretty close. But I imagine that with HTC Vive, they're selling you a whole experience with the headset, and not something so simple. Let's see what we got here. We have the discussion of Vive can play Oculus games fine yet. Reverse is definitely not possible. More bang for your buck, plus a better for gaming duo. Benjamin, thank you. So we look at that kind of stuff where the hardware itself is actually spoken by the people saying that Oculus can't play the games that HTC Vive can, which I can find this to be quite true at times. I mean, there is some games that are you know, on one that are not on another. But are they because of hardware values? I don't know. Now, do you have anything like that, Benjamin, that you can discuss it about? Vive is the best hands down for room scale. I always thought the Oculus was more comfortable, but with the new deluxe audio head strap, that's not an issue. Thank you, Blaze. I do appreciate it. Mark Smith. It lets me visit places I can't normally go. I'm only excited for the, was it, was it, I'm also excited for the knuckles, controllers, and trackers. That is very true. So as you guys also know, HTC Vive, Adam? Can you please grab me the controllers, Adam? Adam, I didn't hire you for your looks. I hired you for your fast and swiftness. You've got both, though. Oh, thank you. I, you, do all, you are a handsome fellow. I do appreciate that. So as we look at the Vive itself, ladies and gentlemen, you have the controller itself here. Now, this doesn't look very intuitive to the player themselves, but there is interesting things. Like for some games, they do give you the gun motion, which I do like how you can do this kind of thing. Or you can also do the fighting motion. But the thing that looks weird are the claws. So it really throws the player off in immersion because as long as you have the headset on, it feels like these are fine, but it still makes it weird for people. But 
with the new handsets that the Oculus has kind of pushed the envelope on, and they did jump to that before HTC Vive did, it is now giving a new kind of circumference to what you guys can use in your hand movements. Not to mention with the knuckles themselves, having sensors on the in and out when you take your hands and do stuff like that, or if you can pick around the bar, are smart ideas that you can implement into the VR itself. Now, do we see these? Don't know. Are we looking forward to these? Definitely. But what we are definitely looking forward to is the freedom of movement that you get. Let's see here. The vibe just runs better, feels better and easier to work with. My only complaint is that the indie developers is would be nice if we'd have better devs. Dev communication. Revive. Yeah. No entiendo nada español. Uh, Rafael, uh, habla español? Uh, piquito. Uh, I can understand it better than I can speak it. Sorry. I am Puerto Rican. Really hard for me, Rafael. I do apologize for that part. Um, so nonetheless, when you look at this, it is very difficult for most people out there to actually see that kind of stuff. Um, you do see that the knuckles do incorporate a lot more movability and it's more comfortable. I mean, like you look at this and I, I, I don't know what, to, I mean, I can, it looks like I'm going to go fishing if I want to sometimes I'm like, woo, fishing time, you know, uh, that had a sick, thank you so much. That is from Jinx. If you've not checked it out, guys, go to jinx.com. Adam, splash that up there for our sponsor of the day or sponsor of the season. So guys, as we were saying before, that is Jinx. They are our sponsor for season three, guys. If you've not checked them out, please go check them out in their cool clothing. You can find them at Hot Topic and everything like that. But they are an amazing clothing brand that's been around for fucking over, I wanna say 20 plus years. I think they've been around since 1990. God, 10 years plus anyway. So anyway, from the Twitch chat, we get, if I did get VR, most likely spend most of my time in VR porn, which is kind of interesting because this is where it gets interesting. So when you talk about movie experiences and the cells that you guys get, when I was at E3, there was actually a booth in the back for adult films, which I do find it to be skeezy the adult uh, film industry to be where kids are. Yes, yes, you guys are kind of dirtbags, but I get it, Dirty America. You're doing what you're trying to do. It works. But nonetheless, porn is another driving factor because that does not require you to actually look anywhere, but it does offer you the full immersion. And I do have a good friend of mine who's actually a great director who actually started moving his way into VR itself, but more artistic styles, but he's still, <laughs> oh, God, I burped. But more phenomenal kind of stuff that's more on the track of what people should be called tasteful. But nonetheless, ladies and gents, and if you're there, I'm talking about you, Brandon. You kick ass, boy. Keep up. Uh, anyway, but nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, we talk about this kind of stuff with VR in the future where it's going. Adult films do tend to have their own way. You don't rely on any kind of directional, but yet you can sit down and actually look at porn. Because, I mean, let, let's face facts here. Porn isn't a mobile game. I mean, you do a little, you know, hip thrusting, a little jerkiness and all that other stuff. And I, I get it and all, but I mean, it is something where your direction is really focused at the girl. Because, I mean, if you're looking around how nice the room is in a porn set, you really have to question your like. <laughs> like, oh my god, there's a hot girl. Is that a Ming vase? Dear lord over there. Did it, they got a pool? I, this girl's trying to hunt me, but this shit's hot. <laughs> I can only imagine what some of you would really do. Probably steal somebody's bottle of wine, maybe think about it twice, and then remember that it was a bad idea in the first place. But again, who's going to come get you? The VR police? If I had 5X or 6X clothing, I would grab some clothing from them. Lord Dark Helmet, they do actually think, I think they do actually have 5, 6, if I'm correct. So you might want to check that out. Uh, thank you for the hat compliment. I'm still trying to go back and look over it. All right, going back to the comments. Uh, let's see here. So the comments are reading out. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to read all the comments that you guys are putting. Uh, so would you say that you try to find one of the second-hand market? Uh, John Cured, no. I usually don't like finding anything on the secondhand market for any kind of HTC Vive or Oculus kind of stuff. It's, I'm gonna, we're going to focus on this, but I'm just going to say any kind of VR headsets in general. Um, the reason why is, ladies and gentlemen, this may... Hold on, hold on. This is a real thing, and I'm about to tell you about it. Eye herpes. You guys can actually get eye herpes <laughs> if somebody wears a headset and then wears it after you, or they rub their eye and they wear it after you. So getting it secondhand is actually a bad idea. 
there were there's a, there's some awesome it was it Calabasas Gaming on the way for the vibe. Ah, oh, Cableless Gaming on the way. Yes, Benjamin, there is actually, and I'm very excited about that. Uh, right now, we don't have the wireless headset, and we'd like to see it, but, uh, I mean, hey, that's where it is. Uh, I like being able to play Oculus games on the Vive via Revive also. The Deluxe Audio head strap works great, and TP Cast looks promising. When all this comes out, it'll be fabulous on our channel. Oh, very nice. Very nice, Mark Smith. Uh, Jinx started in the early 2000s. Oh, John Cured, really? I did not know they started in 2000. It felt like, well, I mean, it's almost 20 years. So there you go, over 15 plus years. Couldn't was it? Couldn't you just buy a few? Was it a few face pads and just was it disinfect the vibe for the second hand? Uh, you could, Alex, but I'm not sure if it's really going to be that effective. I mean, plus I'm sorry, I'm a person that if you get the foam that's on the inside of this with a lot of dirt and grime, you're not really washing it as much as other people. So I'd really just suggest getting your own. I mean, if you want to go that route, go for it. That's your part. Take Alex. But I prefer that it be something else differently. Anyway, so moving back to the subject with the HTC Vive itself, the one thing I will have to say is that it's moving it in a direction where I think that it actually will be still a competitor no matter what. Now, a lot of you guys have speculated saying, well, because of the price slash, why not just buy an Oculus? You've heard it here today that the hardware itself is supported not just by the viewers, but also by the people out there. If the HTC headset keeps carrying this as their juggernaut, again, as we match it, it's like Intel and AMD. AMD still can deliver close enough to where Intel is at, but Intel is still dominating with its graphics and what it does. Eyebrow crabs, ew. I know, imagine trying to comb those out or shave your eyebrows off. Oof. Like, let's face facts, guys. How good would I look if I had no eyebrows? I mean, I probably look like one of those Russian killers from like those Bond movies. Dos Vodonia, I kill you now. It's not the dialogue, but I just say it that way. Uh, but nonetheless, it is something that could happen and you could see in that result. But besides that, I do think that HTC still has a very vibrant future. And you know, if you guys aren't impressed by that, by golly, who wants to see some video gameplay? Woo! Damn right, Adam. And anybody else? Anybody else? Woo! Adam, stop it. I want to hear what they have to say. Uh, I just jumped on the Rift summer deal. They're out of stock, which they don't say when you was it when you purchase it. For a guy who's looking into VR, it was into VR. The Rift is a good open when the price isn't isn't a factor. Uh, are you saying it when it's not or it is? Boricua, Russian. <laughs> Do it. Love to. No. Steven Richards is like, no, nah, I don't watch any of you guys gaming, any of this kind of stuff. I think it's going to be great. My son bought an Oculus for $3.99 special, but brought it back for a full refund since he was used to my Vive tracking. He told me he will still, was it, he'll just save for the best tracking via Vive. See, there you go. People, people here, this is, this is why you go with the HTC Vive, ladies and gents. It's great. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So, as promised, we are going to be playing Gunheart, a new game that has come out. It's graphic intensive, action packed, and you may hear me scream like a little girl from time to time. Sorry, driving high. I meant it is a good option. Uh, it is Oculus. I mean, it, when you, if you come in at $399, it's like you're still about $400 short from buying something. I would say save it so you get the better headset for the far future. I like future proofing myself. So I try to buy as close as to the best, but not the best, best because like the few extra dollars you pay for it. Like I didn't buy a 1080, I bought a 1070 and it's pretty close to each other. It's like you're paying fractions for frames per second than what you get from there. How expensive is a computer do you need for that vibe to work? Actually, Zeke, you don't really need like a very expensive computer. You just need to meet the minimum requirements, which I usually suggest an i5, i7, and get yourself like, or maybe like a Radeon graphics card. If you're going for budget, go for a 580 Radeon graphics card. Or the new Vega that just came out, we'll play it. Or anything that's a 1060 and above. So those are usually great uh, options that you get from NVIDIA too. Uh, how expensive of a computer? Anyway? I bought a 1080 Ti. Yeah, Ryan, that's overkill, but good job. You're going to have the best graphics. Now for you guys, if you wonder what it means when you have an HTC Vive headset and using the graphics card, what happens is it's just the processing of the clarity of the picture. The lower the graphics card, it will still run, but the picture won't look as good as where if you bought a 1080 Ti. Now, that's like any other graphics card. So I mean, yeah, you got to be kidding me if you go like, oh, well, I don't know if that's going to be right. No, it is going to definitely be right. Sweet, I suppose. Why do you say, why do you say I suppose, Lord Dark Helmet? Let me, let me, let me hear you on that part. And, I'm, and don't worry, I'm paying attention to both of you guys, so I'm not ignoring you. Is chat? Check going. 
Oh, there we go. Okay, I was trying to double check and make sure. All right, guys, as I promised, we're going to start playing some games. We're going to play Gunheart, guys, so let's move on over to that part of it. All right, Adam, let's do this. I'm ready to do Gunheart. Oh, you got it running? Yeah. Holy shit, dude. You... Just go to gameplay? Did you. You got to switch over in gameplay when you do it. All right, but you got to go to capture. It has to go to, game... go to gameplay. Go to game capture, right click, go to properties. And what you're going to do is you're going to, instead of the price of freedom, you're going to go to Gunheart Alpha. All right, Adam, I'm going to need you to be my eyes to other stuff right now. Because right now I can't pay attention to all that stuff. This is actually pretty cool. Although I can't hear sound. Hold on. Can you see me as I go? I don't hear anything right now. It, it could be, it's, I don't think it's that. All right. So you'll see everybody talking right now. If they ask any questions, please let me know. Sorry guys, we're trying to get this all to work here. Oh. Hey, hold on. Give me a second. Just adjusting these last bits here. This guy looks like he's trying to slap me to make sense. Oh, Jesus Christ. He's right, right in my face. Is he trying to slap me? He's trying to slap me at this point. Bro. I don't. My hands are all wonky. Can I shoot him in the junk? Oh, I can shoot him in the junk. Okay. I, I heard the sound for a minute. Adam, what'd you do? You can't hear anybody? Oh, no, I can. I can't hear somebody. Uh, okay. Can you guys actually hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, I... Okay, now now I can't see anything. There we go. Oh, whoa. Wait, what are you oh, doing? You're here? in the wall. Oh, okay. Go to, your, go to your settings. Go to your settings. And uh, turn on strafing. So you can move around without teleporting. Alright, go to, go to the, go to the uh, strafing. Yeah, put teleport plus strafing. Oh, teleport just plus strafing. Oh, okay, I see where it's at. This, okay. And then use your left joystick to move yourself around. No, I'm actually falling Double out. tap and hold it down to run. Okay, there we go. Now, now I'm better in that part. Sorry, I'm still trying to... Wait, am I strafing now? Did you do that, Adam? All right. Jesus Christ. I'm trying to see how this goes. All right, there we go. All right, so now I can hear sound here. And then my hand's in tracking. Okay, we're, in tra we're not in tracking. This is weird, okay. All right, this game's awesome. All right, so, okay, so that's where it is. So Adam, so let me go to, let me go to, wait. How do I get to my options in this game? Hold it down. I think it's the Y button or like the B button on your right right hand uh, stick. Just hold it down. Nope, nope. I lost sound again. No, on your uh, right, on your right one. On my right one? Oh, there it is. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Ah. And then go to click options. Options. Go to movement. Oh, yeah, teleport. go to movement. Tele teleport plus strafe. Okay. Safety blinders off. Hold on, safety blinders off. It'll turn the screen black when you try moving. And then ro rotation control, put that on a uh, pre rotate. Hold on. 
what's going on with this? Hold on, give me a second real quick. Okay, so that's where that is, that's that. So that's okay, so that's where I should be. So I had to get a line to where everything was at right now. Okay. Okay. Okay, so... Why? Spray blinders off. Yeah, you're going crazy. I don't know what's going on with your guy. Okay, there we go. The arms crossed. All right, cool. All right, there we go, there we go. Okay. All right, so left hand, no. What does that mean? Yeah, no, yeah. You don't, you, if you're right-handed, you want your right hand prominent. Oh, okay. So just no. Okay, so Movement, teleport. Okay, movement, teleport plus drive. Uh, straight yep. blinders, off. Off. Rotation control, free rotate. Look, turn around, or look, turns, in place. Okay. And then that's it. And then now you should be able to, with your left stick, move yourself around. Double tap to run. Double tap any direction to run. And so I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it's, yeah, okay. Oh, it just pretty... makes running, I mean, it makes moving around a lot easier. All right, so I'm assuming that either you're somebody who works for HTC Vive, or you're somebody who actually no. made this game. <laughs> now I'm waiting, for, I'm waiting for my buddy to join, and I've spent a lot of time just trying to figure out the best way to play. Oh, nice. Well, thank you very much, man. All right. Oh, your crossbow. Shoot your, shoot your crossbow, but hold down the trigger after you shoot it. And then you can move your arm. Then move your arm, you can curve the crossbow. Oh, really? Yeah. So, shoot the trigger and then turn. Oh, nice. So, basically, I'm just... I'm doing like the... What is it? Oh, God, that movie. Wanted. Oh, shit. Couldn't do that. Hold on. Do that works here. Oh, that is awesome. All right, so what yeah. are we doing here? Are we waiting for a game to load or? No, you just go to you go to Gunstar if you want to upgrade your uh, guns, which you probably should do at the beginning. But when you get some cash, go to the the armory. Oh, nice. All right. So how much cash do I have? I'm a rookie. I don't know what you start off with. I have no idea what you start off with, um, to be uh, honest with you. To be honest, I don't even know. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. Just, just go good. for the carbine as soon as you can get it. Where's the, where's the carbine? Well, nice. Oh, carbine, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't buy it. No, I have one. Try this. Go to the... Yeah, Go to the mission okay. board and start one of those and get some cash. Uh huh. Over here. Go to this area right, right here. Alright. No. Kurkim. You go. If you go to the new Kurkim, start welcome with a homestead. Ah, so. Alright, so uh, the homestead and it'll get, give you an idea of how to play the game. Uh, okay. you, get, you can get some money too. Perfect, thank you. What is it? Stay up on Alright, there we go. Well, I'm not even to just loading. Oh, it's loading it, okay. So, hey, Adam, is anybody saying anything interesting or are they just watching me? <laughs> like, be a numbskull as I do this. Adam? Ah. Seriously? Why is it freaking out so much? That's so weird. Oh, there we go. Alright, loading gun hard. Coco, Coco Cabin, there it is. Uh, we came halfway across the galaxy to make our fortune, and now we're dead broke, working a job babysitting a bunch of floating platforms.
Greetings, Platform Supervisor. 42. We have detected a power malfunction in your sector. We at Palco want you to know that we don't blame you for this mistake. However, we will be forced to terminate your employment and your life support systems if the situation is not corrected in a speedy manner. Thank you. Well, I guess that means we should probably find out what's going on. The reactors aren't far from here. Let's go check it out. I will go check it out. Thank you. Alright, so I think I'm going to just try to jump to this. Oh, it, it actually stops? That's actually kind of cool. Alright, alright. We'll get off it. Alright, so that's over there. What's this over here? Oh, that doesn't work. Okay. Won't touch it. Freaks out. I'm horrible at this game! Seriously? I like move. Hold on. Well, congratulations to you. <laughs> that was pointless on my end. <laughs> so I guess this is multiplayer for where everyone ever is. are in a complex dead ahead. What the hell are anthermite eggs doing on planet Fortune? We're on the far end of the galaxy from their home world. We better clear this crap out before they start hatching. This guys over here trying to steal my shit. Back up! Something on me? What is hitting? Seriously, why is my arms every time I play this game or any kind of game? That's the kind of stuff it happens. And I'm not saying with HTC Vive guys, I'm just saying with our, our display, I should just set up for a small room. Make it a lot more easier. I always try to do free form so I have a giant sized room. Actually, if this is how gameplay is, I'm okay with this. It's pretty immersive. Whoa, distress signals are popping up all over the area. Let's go outside and see what's going on. say that giant sky squid is not one of the good guys. You seem oh. really handy with those guns. Let's see if we can help. Uh, I don't even know what I'm fighting against. That's a bad idea.
Ah, uh, come and get it! Look at you doing size insects! It looks like a giant. It's really weird because they also look like frogs. I can't shoot him, so, you know, hey. So where's the extraction point? The main homestead is under attack. I'll drop a marker in your ping menu. Let's go punch some holes in the bad guys. I gotta get some my money. Forget you, fool. That's my money. I saw that coming around. I was like, I gotta get the money. Forget you. Wait. A dropship is on approach. Try not to get blasted. Really? It's a barrel? Needs cover of some sort. Can't move anywhere? I'm gonna blow up? What what that just happened? Am I out of the game? Is that what's going on here? Do I get stuck? Or I just I guess I die or do I restart over? Let's see, we'll find out. I love these guns though. It's like reminds me of like Space Marines. Could be all gangster like, yo, bo! Oh, wait. Oh, I oh, that's what happens? Well, Jesus. You have died despite your villain. Okay. If I respawn. It's actually kind of interesting how that works out there. Oh, God. All right, let's do this again. All right, so the job was basically to go to the clown. Uh, laughter really isn't the best medicine. That sounds really depressing. So I guess this is the kind of insect. Right, so okay, well, I can tell you that's not happening this year. 
the next year or two, yeah. Alright, let's go do that mission back to the homestead. Brawl PvP? I, there's a PvP in this game? Holy crap, this game has gone awesome. I love this. This is, this is okay. Oh god, and sorry guys, I'm gonna look in the chat for a minute. Give me two seconds. I'm gonna put this to the side. Make sure that I can see what you guys are saying real quick. Sorry I didn't see it because Adam was supposed to be reading it, but Adam left. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's got both. Never mind. Beautiful looking game. Check us out. Was it on YouTube? Uh, Avery Mary unboxing. Kill the was it? Kill the eggs. Laugh out loud. Nicholas goes shrug. Uh, what mic do you use when you're playing? Um, I use a special one by Samson Mics. They're actually my sponsors, so I brought them in. Uh, we came halfway across the galaxy to You're playing, just being a jerk. That's <laughs> what I do. Wait, how am I being a jerk on any form? I'm being nice to those guys. Platforms. All right. Let's play. Let's play one more round on this, and then we're gonna wrap up the show, ladies and gents. After we get this one match going here, I take it you died too, huh? Yeah, it sucked. It's all right. It's all right. Let's let's try to do this again, man. I'm right behind you. Greetings, Platform Supervisor 42. We have detected a power malfunction in your sector. We at Palco want you to know that we don't blame you for this mistake. However, we will be forced to terminate your employment and your life support systems if the situation is not corrected in a speedy manner. Thank you. Well, I guess that means we should probably find out what's going on. The reactors aren't far from here. Let's go check it out. The reactors are in a complex dead ahead. What the hell are anthermite eggs doing on planet Fortune? We're on the far end of the galaxy from their home world. We better clear this crap out before they start hatching. Oh wow, that's really cool, okay. I feel like I'm also, you know what game would be great for the VR? It's House of the Dead. If they got this game on House of the Dead, I'd be so ecstatic for what the game is. Mother, okay, so it does start over, so you have to go get them again. and see what's going on I like I like how it allows you to like actually slowly well, move I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say the giant sky squid is not one of the good guys you seem pretty handy with those guns let's see if we can <laughs>
All right, I think we cleared this, bud. The main homestead is under attack. I'll drop a marker in your ping menu. Let's go punch some holes in the bad guys. They're right there. See the one thing he did forget? Gotta revive. We gotta revive. Oh, come on. I gotta revive. Thank you. Yeah, I was trying to revive you. I was all the way on the other side. Cool, thank you.
Where are the other guys? Am I just the only one shooting over here? Congratulations, Regional Platform Supervisor. You have successfully repelled a hostile attack on Palco property. We I, appreciate your proactive I don't even know what I did. Attitude. I'm confused! I got 21 kills. I'm gonna have to keep playing this game. We it's actually really... You you are fired. God, I wish I... Thank this you is for awesome. Your understanding. Mm -hmm. and yeah. Wish you luck on your new job hunt. Boom! Boom, boom, boom! That was good. That was a good job, guys. Loved it. That was fun. What, how did we... Turn my in-game mic off. How did, how did we end up killing that, that boss? Like... I'm very confused by that. I think you just got to keep on going. You just got to keep shooting them or something? I think you just got to kill the enemies. I don't know if you can kill the big ones that was spawning the eggs. Oh, okay. I I was, yeah, I was trying to figure out what that was. I don't think we ever killed it. I think we kept on going. That was fun, though. It was. So, uh, what does everybody want to drink? I'm the bartender for the day. Anything? Hey, no? Vodka? I can serve it up very cold. Shot in the mouth? Nope. All right, we're good. Oh, there we go. Hey, you want that? Right, hold on. Oh, shit. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Let me, there we go. All right, hold on, let me, let me pour some, some beer. There you go. Some there, there it is. It's like ketchup in a weird way. It just won't come out. Fuck it, bottle! Hold on. Nope, it's it's not worth my time. Oh, it was good. That was good. That was good. Are we doing weight lifting? Can you lift weight, bros? Give me those arm curls. Show me that. Yeah, right there. Arm curl. Looks like you both are beating each other off right there. Just it looks weird. Oh, he's got two. All right, all right. But are we all lifting weights here? We're all lifting weights. All right. I'm gonna. Investigation. I don't know what you just said. I'm just gonna say yes. It looks like we're all right. Hold on, and I'll add I'll okay. add some uh, tires to this. There we go. All right. All right. So try this. Check this out. This is cool. So this is actually a multiplayer game. You don't have to play a multiplayer. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for this, I do appreciate it, but it's time for me to go. It's okay, now. Oh my god, okay, that is done. Whew. Oh, my eyes and everything are just over it. Done with it. Complete skitski. Oh, Jesus. So that, ladies and gentlemen, and actually, to be honest, that was a very fun game, and uh, I'm pretty sure once I end this show with you guys, I'm going to be getting out of here. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for everybody for showing up. Um, just to kind of conclude where we're at right now, I think the HTC 5's future is very strong for what we've seen so far. The discussion between it having a heavier you know, graphics intake, being able to actually do more. Now, again, these are all opinions based off a lot of the viewers, but we do appreciate it because it's actually very cool that this kind of stuff happens. And I think it's awesome. I mean, the fact that we get to play this game and have the opportunity and the chances to actually check it, pretty awesome. Now, if it's one of those things where getting a lighter headset also made the improvement. Also, I won't lie, I like the extension that you do get from uh, the earmuffs. I think that's incredible. That's quite incredible to where it's at. But I think it's just phenomenal that we got that opportunity and chance to try it. Uh, overall, I think it's doing a lot better. The responsiveness is better. Uh, I think more or less, you know, some of the things is because the room and the way I've set it up that we had this kind of small technical issues, but it shouldn't have that issue because I'm just going to set it to regular standing room so we won't have this in the future. But all in all, it was a really incredible experience. I really enjoyed just playing it that way. Uh, and it's just, I don't know, I don't know how to express it more than that. I think for the future for HTC Vive that it's going to be looking strong for them. They definitely got a good part if they get rid of the wires for everything. 
But again, I am, I, it's just that's me talking. If you guys want to leave any comments or discuss anything, guys, please drop them in the comment selection down below. If you're on Twitch, guys, go over to Facebook and check out the video and leave your comments. Anybody who's on Facebook and wants to go like, hey, I want to go check out Twitch, head on over that way, ladies and gentlemen. But guys, thank you so much for stopping, guy. My name is Duncan, guys. This has been Cyber Insider. We'll be back next week, guys, with some cyber play on Tuesday. And also, we'll be having another Cyber Insider where we'll be talking about AMD's Threadripper. So, guys, make sure that you come back next week. Thank you for being here, guys. And as we always say, thanks for stopping by. Whew, I'm going to go get cooled off here.